Now we're going to talk about bending. Check out this lick. Now check out the same notes once again. Now what you just heard was the same exact phrase played two different ways. The first time I played that phrase, I just played the notes straight. I did not use any bends. The second time I played that lick, I bent into the notes. And I personally think it sounds much more interesting and exciting when using bends. I prefer the second way over the first way. So since we have electric guitar and we can bend strings, we should take advantage of that. So let's talk now about the technique of bending. We're going to start off with this little technique builder. It looks like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm bending from the 10th fret of the G string up a whole step. A whole step is the distance of two frets. So if I play on the 10th fret of the G string, a whole step would be two frets above that. So I'm going to try and bend that distance. And I can find that note by playing now on the 8th fret of the B string. So we'll try and bend upwards a whole step from the 10th fret of the G string and then play 8 on the B. And that's a whole step bend. Let's try it now from the B string. Grab the 11th fret of the B string, try and bend up a whole step in order to play the note C, which will be found on the 8th fret of the high E string. So we're going to start here and try and end here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll bend up from the B string and then strike the note on the high E string. And we can combine these two ideas to create a lick, something like this. So what I did here was start off on the 8th fret of the high E string, and then I bent a whole step from the 11th fret of the B, and then back to 8 on the high E. So far we've done this. Now I'm going to bend up a whole step from the 10th fret of the G string and then start the phrase all over again. And if we do those four notes over and over again, we get this lick. I have to go crazy there at the end. You can't just let it sit there. Okay, we can also bend with other fingers. So far I've been bending with my third finger. And when I bend with my third finger, I often support the bend with my middle finger on the same string just behind. Strength in numbers. But if we're bending with the first finger, we don't always have that option. So check this out. If I play these notes, but I want to use bends, I'm going to start on the 8th fret of the G string, try and bend up a whole step, back down to the 8th fret, then I'll end the lick on the 10th fret of the D string. These licks are in the key of C. I'm thinking C right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take the first finger, try and bend up a whole step, back down. Same as, but with a bend. So at first you really have to use your ears to determine whether you've reached the correct pitch, but eventually it's just muscle memory. Your fingers will know how much to push on the strings.
So that lick was using a whole step bend. Well, what if we bend a half step? Here are the notes. That could also sound really cool in the key of C. Now I'm going to try and bend from the eighth fret of the G string up a half step. A half step is one fret, so I want to bend into the ninth fret. So take your first finger, try and bend up a half step, release that bend, come back down to the tenth fret of the D string. And now let's go back to the first lick that we heard, which was this. So here we'll slide into the 14th fret of the G string, grab 13 on the B, bend up a whole step from 16 on the B, then bend up a whole step from 15 on the B, back to 13 on the B. Now play 13 on the B, bend up a whole step from 15 on the high E, bend up a whole step from 15 on the B, and then back to 13 on the B. And the last two notes, 14 G, 13 B. So the whole thing. Once again. All right, so there's a few examples on how to bend a string.